Alright everybody, welcome back to more Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. We're going to try this boss fight again. I'm going to hopefully not jump around like I was before. I need to stay on the ground except for when I do need to jump. Maybe we can pull this off. I've also done some upgrades. I'm actually going to go do another upgrade here. I forgot about it. Um, I actually have enough to do another upgrade on the sword. I want to be able to do as much damage as I possibly can. I've been farming time crystals here. You've already actually killed one before I started the video, so I'm just gonna run this way. I wanted to save it that tree just in case we had to for some reason. Yeah, I've been farming time crystals and uh, ingots and stuff like that to try to get upgrades and stuff. So, hoping that it helps out. I actually explored a little bit more and found some other places and was going through the depths and bought a big freaking crab and got a bunch of Tom Crystal's off of that, so. So. Go back to the Haven real quick. And I can find it. I actually did find that in the, when I was in the, in the depths there. Alright. Let's do this upgrade here. I right, have one. Let's do this other one. Welcome. I also was uh, was farming the uh, the training thing that's in here in the heaven too, which actually has some um, cool stuff. Three. I have four. Fourteen. I have it. Okay. Boom. Large increase sword damage now. And now that should be the max I should be able to do. Also, I've got another amulet when I beat the crab. Yeah, apparently, guys, some things they teach you in the uh, the training thing, which are really cool, is that once you get the thing where you can, like, you know, teleport like this, you can actually, when you hold this down, which I don't do that often, you know, you can send out this wave, this charge. You can hold this down, then hit a clone, and then send the charge and then hit the clone and the clone will then charge again. So you can actually do it twice. So, also I was forgetting that I had a teleport with the chakra and I could do this, which let me get to a lot of different other places. So, yeah, the training thing over here, very useful. You also get, uh, for the ore and stuff, so I've actually done all the ones that I can. They also give you time crystals, so. If you're playing this game and you haven't done that, I would highly suggest doing it because there's some, some good stuff in there, so. Alright. Teleport to this one. I already saved the, the other tree. Let's hope my brain and my fingers will actually work together this time and we can defeat him without having to do it too many times. Because there's two other bosses after this. So, yeah. I want to be done with this game. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I gotta go straight across here. Because we gotta go back to the past. That's right, it's below. I keep <laughs> I keep forgetting that's below. You have to do this weird jumping thing to get to it. Which I do not understand, but just wait for us to go down again. I jump over this. Do a double jump dash, and there we go. This is where we go back to the past. Alright. We've already seen everything, so let's just skip and go. My turn. Yeah. 
bear witness. I accidentally sent that out. I'm doing jumping again. I need to jump on that one. Okay. Ah, didn't, didn't time that right, didn't time that right. Reverse time. I am doing more damage, which is good. Ah, come on. Ah. I dodged that. Okay, all right. We almost had that the first time. So, all right. The Bear witness. Of the storm. Hmm. My parries are just so slow. Like me personally, I'm doing them too slow. Why get caught in that? All right. Wow. I thought I hit that one time, but I did not. God, it caught me with that. Mm, I did that too late. That was my fault. My fault. We're gonna have to do this over again. Go ahead and do it over again. I don't care. Oh, we're gonna rewind the time, huh? Completely dodge it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We did. We retry. Stop. Wow, I thought I parried that, but apparently. Wow. Okay, Bear just witness. just just kill me. Just kill me. I want to start this over. I want to start this over. That was just very very bad. That's very very bad. So.
How was that not a parry? That three hit combo thing is still annoying. That goes in that room. I timed that. What the heck? My turn. Oh, wow, okay, just... I prefer to dodge that and then try to parry it. Enough. Oh, that got me. I did not find the spot. Alright. Okay, I think I like dodging that the way I was dodging it better than trying to find a way to parry it. Okay, that's alright. It's okay. It's alright. My turn. Ah, come on. Oh, it's twice, it's twice, it's twice now. Oh, come on, didn't you stun lock me again here? And I got caught. I didn't get it across at the time. Damn it. Stun locked me in the corner there. I have the storm. Oh, God, come on, man. Freaking crap, really? I hit the parry button, but okay.
That caught me? Oh. Really? Oh, come on. Wow, okay, okay. Uh, that's the wrong button, Jay. Oh, okay, I'm going to get this. I'm going to figure this out. My turn. Oh, come on. I tried to parry it because I knew that's what he was going to do, and I just couldn't do it. Out, crap. My turn. Ah, enough. Oh, God. So close.
Man, we were so close with that one. Oh, did I glitch him? Oh. Oh, it's as far as they'll let me go before it goes into the next fight. <laughs> oh, let's build up some after then, huh? Heal up. Will we move now? Oh, come on. He glitched. He glitched over here. Man, I thought we were going to freaking finally have it. This does not do any more damage. Can we restart the fight or what the Can I do restart? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh Varum. You denied me my right to freaking beat you. He still parries it back. Oh, man. Is there really no way for me just to do restart fight? It's not just a restart fight thing, huh? I have to... I have to... I basically have to have him carry everything back at me.
Which isn't gonna work anyway. At least so glitched now. I glitched the game. I glitched the boss so bad that I can't even beat him. Go that way. Get out. Come on. Just be unglitched. You're right there with the health. Come on. Just let me beat you. And there's no way to, like, restart this. Wow. There's no way to do this. Oh, I'm going to have to... Guys, I'm going to have to just restart the whole entire game over again. Alright, hold up everybody. I'm going to have to piece this together, so give me a minute. Alright buddy, I'm back. I had to go back and redo the upgrade, so I did that and saved the tree at the Haven, so let's do this over again. Where we were before. Sargon, listen to me. Bear witness. Okay. Bear witness. Stop. You're going to reverse the time while you do this, huh? God dang it got me. I was in the middle of freaking drinking. Oh 
Boom! There we go. Finally did it. The dodging thing for me works better than the parrying thing, so. Oh. My son, you will earn the sea mark's blessing. Then, as per tradition, I will reveal your regnal name. Oh, mighty sea mark, protector of our people, I, Darius, have come to present to you my son. Wow, look at that bird. It's awesome. <laughs> Should you deem him worthy, he shall one day become king. The reign of the house of Darius is over. The queen? What is, what is this? What? She killed the king? What the heck? No. Live. Baram. You must live. Oh. Okay. You are the rightful prince. I prefer to leave such meaningless titles to humans. I have left your world behind. The Samorg is no more. It is my sacred duty to recover its powers. For the one who wields them will be equal to a god. You have completely lost your mind, Varum. Teesh. These powers are mine by right. This is far from over, Sargon. And I hate her. Why did she betray us? She never did. That doesn't matter anymore. She was tough on us. And yet, she gave her life. I know what you're thinking. What do you see at the end of your blade? Oh. <laughs> I think I understand now. Oh. Whoa. Just combine with our past self. A fabric of time, fused with Athra Sagan's sash, bends and expands at will. Press R briefly to propel Sagan to his target. Hold R to pull. Okay, so that's what the R1 now does. Pressing it will briefly allow him to reach certain locations while holding R. Certain objects can be pulled down the channel. Huh. Sargan can also briefly reach enemies off around in the air with a brief press of R1. You can also draw them or tear off protections depending on their weight. What just happened? Oh. Hassan, I have something to tell you and I need you to believe me. Sargon, you are the only one I trust right now. Oh. Hmm. Tamiris, your mother murdered King Darius. She usurped the throne. The Simorg never perched on her shoulder. Hassan, I'm... I'm sorry. Don't be. I never found she wore her title well. Nor was she motherly. Mm. The people suffered for 30 years without the Simorg because of her. I am sorry about your mentor and Ahita. She told me she was following orders from... from Tamiris. Then... Anahita was manipulated into doing her bidding. Just as I was pressured to maintain face. 
Mm. Why even have me kidnapped? There's... There's one more thing. I'm listening. Varum is the son of King Darius. Is that... Is that why he tried to kill me? For revenge? All I know is that all of this has allowed us to see Varum's true colors. Sure but has, sheesh. Right He's far too dangerous. We must stop him. You're right. We must protect the people more than anything else. I can help you with what I've learned through scriptures and legends. Varum spoke of recovering powers. That means he's after the heart of the Simorg. It's at the Simorg gate. But to gain access, you'll need the Key of Kings and the Tower of Silence. Then I must retrieve it. Mm. Hassan, you're helping me more than you know. Godspeed, my friend. That is now unlocked. So that's where we gotta go next, huh? Well, I can teleport down there and work my way up, I guess. Father and a son main quest. Can I get a save point, please? Oh. That's what these things are for. Oh. Even though more of the world has opened up to me. But I would like to save and be near our teleporter. So Look at this area up in here. What the heck? Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go back. If I can. That's the thing, can I though? Can I actually go this way and leave? I can't. Okay, good. And we're here. Good. All right. So we're going to go back to the teleporter. That's why I got to wait on the elevator. Oh, we did it, guys. We finally... <laughs> After all that, all those attempts and stuff like that, and glitching out and everything, we've actually finally beat Varum. At least that Varum. I think there's another one, like an ultimate version of him or something. So, only two more bosses to go. We didn't even get a thing for our health though. After we beat the boss though. Oh, we get to get a new power. Which way? Which way? I always forget if it's up or down to go. Okay. And the upgrades to the sword did help. I saw all that damage I was doing to him. All right. Well, with that, guys, we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for bearing with me while I go through this boss fight and uh, watching. Please hit the subscribe button down below to be here for the rest of this playthrough and all the other playthroughs and things I do here on the channel. Um, there's a lot of cool things coming up. Um, all the social media is up on the screen right now. If you want to follow me on any of that, I'd be appreciative. I'm most active over on Blue Sky and over on Threads, so I hope to see you there. And I try to stream here on YouTube, which we're going to start up again pretty soon. But also over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash jmat14. Give me a follow over there. I would really appreciate it. And hit the little notification thing so that way when I go live, you'll know. All right. Everybody have a good one. I'll see you for the next episode. And remember, as always, keep gaming.